My name is David Martin, I'm a partner at uh, Thompson's, Scotland's trade union law firm. Um, this is the first in a series of uh, short legal updates from the Thompson's uh, employment team. First update is in relation to the Trade Union Act uh, 2017. It's an act that came into force uh, on the 1st of March 2017. The key provisions in the act are, first of all, in relation to ballot thresholds. There's now a 50% uh, threshold um, on, in terms of turnout in relation to every ballot. In addition to that, in respect of important public services, there are f there's a 40% ballot support threshold, which in essence means that 40% of people who were entitled to vote in the ballot must support it. There are also provisions in relation to describing on the ballot paper the nature of the industrial action which is going to be undertaken um, and also the nature of the trade, res the, the trade dispute in respect of which uh, the action is being taken as well. The only positive um, to come out of the regulations is that the mandate, once you do have a successful ballot, has increased from four weeks to six months. So what potential legal issues does that present trade unions uh, and trade union officials? First of all, we would expect to see litigation uh, in respect of the descriptions that appear on ballots. It's critical that those descriptions clearly and accurately describe the type of industrial action that uh, you're planning to take uh, and also the nature of the trade dispute uh, wh which you've entered into uh, because we will see legal action on mistakes in the, in, in the ballot paper. Uh, secondly, we may see uh, disputes around the description of the bargaining unit where the vote is typed. We may see trade unions arguing that certain individuals should be included uh, in the bargaining unit and therefore should have been balloted and others shouldn't. So as trade unionists, how do we respond to um, the provisions of the Trade Union Act? First of all, it's a very clear piece of messaging around participation in the vote. The way the ballots are now structured, if you do not vote in a ballot, it, it, your vote will be taken as a no vote. So the message is, uh, a don't vote is a no vote, and that should hopefully uh, help push turnout up. Uh, I think the second message is really choose your, con your ballot constituency wisely. Um, it's very unlikely that broad uh, constituencies across the entire workplaces are going to meet sufficient support, so ballots need to be targeted uh, much more accurately and strategically. Thompson's are hosting a series of legal update events um, throughout 2017. The first of those is on the 23rd of March in respect of the Trade Union Act and all trade unionists are welcome to attend.